My name is Jackie Romersensky, and I'm one of OOD's commissioners. And we are a citizen-led commission that is part of the input and feedback and oversight process for how opportunities for Ohioans with disabilities is managed. When I came in, the agency had received about a 55% budget reduction. We were looking at about 150 people being uh, laid off, uh, including counselors, which would mean that uh, services to individuals with disabilities would suffer. We have an eligibility process that was taking upwards of four months, uh, 129 days to be exact. And the Federal Oversight Agency tells us that we only have 60 days to do that. So we were way outside of compliance, not to mention the fact that the people that we serve were waiting entirely too long to find out whether or not they could benefit from our services. The people that were affected specifically are the, the, the population that des desires our services specifically. The people with disabilities. We need to be a good public steward of money and get them determined eligible as quickly as possible. And the way we were currently doing it was varied across the state and we needed to shorten that time frame up. It was, we needed to serve those individuals better so we can get them determined eligible, so we can get them the services, so we can get them employed. OOD's been actively grappling with how do we connect our consumers, our Ohioans, with jobs. So how do we make that match and how do we get the employers engaged so that they want to hire our talent pool? We went about building very slowly. I talk about if you're going to build the great Taj Mahal, you still have to have the very first brick laid exactly right. And the way we did that was to say, how can Lean Ohio come in and help us with the very first thing we want to do to set the tone, which is improve the time we serve individuals with disabilities. And as we were grappling this, we started using some Lean Ohio techniques to really look at the problem and come up with a solution. The federal requirement is to determine eligibility within 60 days. But we challenged ourselves. I told them I wanted to make it 30 days because Ohio should lead the way. The process sort of identified a couple of different things and when we put them all together, we're really pleased because we hoped it would work. But now what we know is that it actually is working. It wasn't easy. It was tough work. We implemented a significant change in how we do business across our entire agency that involved several hundred staff. The payoff was huge. The payoff was priceless. And uh, right now, uh, some five and a half years later, we're looking at 27 days uh, to service. And we started off, I think at the time, we had 20 some employers, and now we're over 100 employers actively engaged in this process, and um, they're hiring people. Uh, we had a wait list of individuals that uh, was at 5,000 people and it grew to over 17,000 uh, in the tenure that I was here. And We started to go about looking at how we changed our services so that we could start to reduce our wait list. And we got uh, just last year to remove that wait list that some people had been waiting 18, 19 months uh, for services, so now uh, there's no wait list. Uh, the people affected by this process um, were the employers that we were working with, so those employers benefited from us having one single approach to working with them, and also our job seekers because we were able to more readily connect them with the employers who were looking to hire. As a result of these processes that we were able to create in working with Lean Ohio, I am now able to more efficiently do my job and also feel like I really have some say-so in solving the issues that come about um, in working with candidates. The other benefit that I've seen with this is the staff that participate in that Kaizen event, they go back to their actual departments. They're learning some of the key things that they've learned in the Kaizen event over that week and they're challenging current everyday work and processes. They're saying, why are we doing it this way? Can we do something a little bit more effective? So all that means is we've been able to change our business culture, been able to change the way we provide services, and as long as we kept one thing in mind, which is, are we doing this in the best interest of the individuals with disabilities we serve? I think everyone who is on the team, including me, is really uh, feeling validated and hopeful. We've only just started where we need to be, but we have historically struggled with how to engage employers who we think for the most part want to employ people with disabilities and have had good experiences, but they've just been sort of turned off by the process. 
So I think we are really happy to see, maybe we're turning on the process from our lean work, and we think we've just gotten started. So I think everyone's really hopeful, and we're gonna keep up our metrics and keep measuring and keep watching, and we may have to keep fine tuning, but I think we feel like we've started off on a really good pathway.